Welcome everyone to Pivotal Stats, where we talk about data analysis techniques, business intelligence platforms, and much, much more. So let's go. Hey everyone. So in the last video, we saw how we can set up your BigQuery environment and come to this interface where we will be writing our SQL queries and exploring the data sets that we have. Now, today we're going to see how we can import any data set into your BigQuery environment so that you can start working on that data set and start writing SQL queries. But before we load any kind of data into BigQuery, we need to understand the structure, how the data is loaded into the BigQuery. Whenever you try to upload any data into BigQuery, it gets stored inside a folder, which is known as datasets. This is how BigQuery organizes your table of data into its ecosystem. So every data that you upload gets uploaded as a table inside a organized folder, which is known as dataset. Now, once you upload something, it gets uploaded to a specific region. So your dataset gets stored into a data center of a particular region of your choosing, or you can also let Google choose the region automatically. So as I said, before you load your data, you need to create a dataset, a folder which will host every table that you have. So to create a dataset, what you need to do is you need to go to your project name. So we're using the default project that BigQuery has created for us. But if you choose, you can create a new project by clicking on this project drop down here and creating a new project. For now, I'm going to just stick with the default project name and click on this three dots icon. And within this click create data set. Okay. It will ask you for a data set ID. Now the data that I'm using today is an open power lifting data set that I downloaded from Kaggle links will be in the description. If you want to follow along now, this data set contains two tables in it and we're going to load both of them. Now there are certain quota limits that you would encounter when it comes to loading your data or storing your data onto Google servers. You can read about those quota limits in the link that I've pasted in the description below. Now, when it comes to creating the data set, you need to give it a name. So I'm going to choose power lifting. The second option says location type. You can choose to store your data in one region or else you can also choose to store your data in multiple regions. Multiple region will have much more bandwidth as compared to one region. So I'm going to choose multiple region and from the drop down, I'm going to choose US. Google will automatically choose which all region it wants to store the data within all the data centers that it has in United States. Default table expiration. Uh, I'm not going to check this out, but what this means is if you check this, it will automatically delete your data set after a certain period of time. Okay, I'm not going to do that and I'm going to leave all the other advanced options as default. Okay, and create data set. So to create a table within your data set, you need to click on the data set name like this. And then in the new window, you just need to click on create table. Okay, now in the new prompt, this is where we choose how we're going to load our data set. So there are a couple of options. You can choose to have an empty table. You can choose to have your data set directly loaded from the Google storage, cloud storage or Google drive or other options that you see here. I'm going to upload it directly from my system. So I'm going to click on upload, browse the file that you want to upload from here. And then in the destination, I'm going to choose the same project because I'm using the default project. In case you are not choosing the default project, uh, browse it and then choose the correct project that you want to load your data into. Dataset name is powerlifting. This is what we created just now. The table name, I'm going to use open powerlifting and then table type would be native. Don't worry about this. Keep this as default. Now coming to the schema part right now, the data that you are loading does not have any schema. So to explain what a schema is, it basically refers to the type of columns that you have in a data. Let's say, you have five columns and you know that these five columns out of these five columns, two are a string and remaining three are number columns. Okay. But in order for SQL to understand that you need to specify that schema. Okay. Now in BigQuery, there are two options. 
you can either specify the schema manually or you can let BigQuery detect the schema automatically. So I'm going to do that only. I'm going to select auto detect and leave rest of the options as default. Okay. And I'm going to say create table. Now it has created a load job here and started loading the data set. Now as you see, it has already loaded my data. And if I click on this new data that I loaded, it will show me the schema as well. So as you see, it's showing me all the columns that I have in that particular table and the type of data it has in here. You can also preview the data set by clicking on this free preview button here. And in case you want to check the details about the table name, you can do it from here. Now this name that is given here will be very useful while we are writing the SQL queries and we'll get to see that in a while. Now I'm going to leave this lineage section for now because this is still in preview mode. Now let's just quickly load my second data set as well. Now here's the second way to load a table. I'm going to click on this add data button here at the top. And now from this, I can choose local file. As I said before, there's an option to load the data from your Google cloud storage, and it can also connect to other external sources such as MySQL database, PostgreSQL, uh, Big Lake, right? And all the others, right? So you can choose that as well. But for now, again, this is in my local system. So I'm going to choose local file. I'm going to choose the data set as powerlifting and table name as meets. And then I'm going to again say auto detect and create table. So that is it. How you load a data set into BigQuery. Now in the next video, we're going to see how we can write a SQL query using the tables that we have just loaded. And we're going to start with the most basic query that is there, which is the select statement. And in my experience, in your data analytics journey, select statement is one of the most important statements that you will ever need. Obviously you would also work with delete statements and update statements, but select statement is something that you will work 90% of the time. Things are going to get much more interesting and I'm sure that you're going to learn a lot from these upcoming videos. So stay tuned for that. Also, if you're liking my content, then consider subscribing to the channel. That would really help me out in the longer run. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.